Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carrion, and today we will talk about how to graph a linear function. But before we start, let's go over some basics. The Cartesian plane is formed by two number lines, one horizontal and one vertical, that intersect at a point. The horizontal line, which is the blue one, it's called the abscissa, or x-axis, and the vertical line, which is the green one, it's called the ordinate, or the y-axis. The point where two lines intersect receives the name of origin. In this case, we will see equations of first degree. This means that the exponents are worth 1, and they are also called linear equations because their graph is a straight line. Here we have y equals 2x minus 1, and we're going to make a table. Here we have to propose values for x. In this case, I will put 2, 1, 0, minus 1, and minus 2. Remember that you can give x the values that you want. It is recommended to put 0, and some values above, and some values below. But in reality, you can graph only by putting two values. Based on these values, we have to find how much y is worth, and we're going to achieve this like this. Here I'm going to put our function, which is y equals 2x minus 1, and then I am going to substitute the values of x to find the value of y. I will start with number 2. I have y equals 2 times what x is worth, which in this case is 2, minus 1. Then I put y equals 2 times 2 gives me 4, and the minus 1 goes down exactly the same. I have that y equals 4 minus 1 gives me the result 3. This means that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. Therefore, I put 3 in my table. Now, I am going to continue with number 1. This means that instead of putting the letter x, I am going to put its value, which is 1. y equals 2 times 1 minus 1. y equals 2 times 1 gives me 2. And the minus 1 goes down exactly the same. Now I have y equals 2 minus 1, gives me 1. Therefore, when x is worth 1, y is also worth 1. And I put it here in my table. Now we go with our value of x, which is 0. I put my equation, y equals 2 times, which is worth x, which in this case is 0, minus 1. y equals 2 times 0, gives me 0 and the minus 1 goes down exactly the same. Therefore, y equals minus 1 when x is 0, y is minus 1, and I put it in my table. Now the next one, x is equal to minus 1, and I have y equals 2 times minus 1 minus 1. y equals 2 times minus 1 gives me minus 2 and the minus 1 goes down exactly the same. y equals minus 2 minus 1 gives me minus 3 as a result. So, when x is minus 1, y is minus 3. And I put it in my table. Very easy, right? Now, we are going to use the minus 2. Therefore, it would remain as y equals 2 times minus 2 minus 1. y equals 2 times minus 2 gives me minus 4, and the minus 1 goes down exactly the same. y equals minus 4 minus 1 gives me minus 5 as a result. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2 and y equals minus 5, and I put it in my table. Once we have the values of y, we're going to graph in our Cartesian plane. Here I have my Cartesian plane. If you do not know how to graph, I recommend you to watch my Cartesian plane video. I will explain the first point. We have 2, 3. This means that on the x-axis, I will find number 2. And here it is. And on the y-axis, I will find the number 3. And done. 
here it is. Now I am going to draw lines until they intersect. Here I have my first point of the linear function and its coordinates are 2,3. Now we're going to find the next point according to these coordinates that are 1,1. I look for one on the x-axis and one on the y-axis. I trace lines and when they intersect, here we have our yellow point. Now we go with our following coordinates that are 0, comma, minus 1. I look for 0 in the Cartesian plane on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. I draw lines and when they intersect, here I have my next yellow point. Now we go with the following coordinates that are minus 1 and minus 3. I look for minus 1 on the x-axis and minus 3 on the y-axis. I draw lines and when they intersect here, I have our yellow point. Now, we go with our last coordinates. I have minus 2 and minus 5. I look for minus 2 on the x-axis and minus 5 on the y-axis. I draw lines and when they intersect, here I have our last point. Now I am going to join all the points and here I have my linear function graph. Remember that it's called linear function because its graph is a straight line like this one. And also remind you that linear functions are those in which their exponents are raised to the first power. So here there is no x squared. Now, we're going to see another example so that you can see that the linear function can be graphed with only two points. And here I have y equals 4x minus 2. And I have my table with the values of x and y. In this case, I am going to put as values of x 1 and minus 1. This means that instead of putting the x, I am going to substitute it with these values. I put my function here again and it is y equals 4x minus 2 and I substitute it. I go with the first value of x which is 1. y equals 4 times what is worth x which in this case is 1 minus 2. y equals 4 times 1 is equal to 4 and the minus 2 goes down exactly the same y equals 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. This means that when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. Now we go with our next value of x which is minus 1. I have that y equals 4 times minus 1 minus 2. y equals 4 times minus 1 is equal to minus 4 and the minus 2 goes down exactly the same y equals minus 4 minus 2 gives me minus 6. Therefore, when x is equal to minus 1, y is worth minus 6. Now, these two points that I have in my table, I am going to locate them in the Cartesian plane. And when joining them, I will have the graph of the function of y equals 4x minus 2. Let's do it! I am going to start with the first coordinate. I place the 1 on the x-axis and the 2 on the y-axis. I draw lines and they intersect. Here I have my first point. Now I go with the second point. I look for the minus 1 on the x-axis and the minus 6 on the y-axis. I draw lines and when they intersect, here I have our next point. I already have the graph of this function linear. Very easy, right? Here I leave you four linear functions for you to practice and if you do them, you can send them to me on my social networks. I really hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. See you next time. Bye bye.